Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Um, today, we are going to be making a live countdown for your game so players can see when the, when the live countdown ends. Now, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is that you want to add a part into your game. Now, this part is going to be where the live countdown is displayed. You can choose to make this part uh, invisible if you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to have it um, where, where you can see the part. Now, the first thing, you want to anchor this part, and you want to rename this part to um, Countdown Part. After you've renamed your part, you want to go over to the Countdown Part, press on the little plus, and you're going to insert a Surface GUI. Now, in the Surface GUI, you're going ins to insert a text label. Now, you can see the text label doesn't really fit the part. So what we want to do is we're going to click on the text label, go down to the properties of it, and you want to go to size. Now, in the size, I want you to um, set 1, 0, 1, 0. And when you press Enter, it's going to fill the entire part. Now, as you can see, the text is very little and it's not very readable for your players. So what you want to do is go back to the text label in the properties. You want to scroll down and you want to set the text scale. You want to check that on. And you also, you can change the font. And just customize the text for your liking. I'm going to just make it real nice. Mm. I'm going to change the text color to white, but I'm going to have the transparency to zero, just like that. And I'm going to set the background color to mm, red. Alright, so after you're like done customizing your text, um, the next thing you want to do is rename this text label. You want to rename this to countdown text just like this. Now after you've done customizing your label and stuff like that, you want to go to the countdown part, um, part and then you're going to press on the plus and you're going to insert a script, not a local script, just a normal script. Now you want to go down to the comments, uh, no, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the script, and then just uh, delete the old script and paste the new one in. Now here you can adjust when you want this countdown to end. You can see the year 2025 month, let me see, we're in April now. I want it to end in April. Day 22, hour 7. And this is like your time zone. So you can just adjust it if you want. But now there's actually not much to do, except trying it out. Hit play. And when we're in game, as you can see, it starts immediately counting down. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful and remember to like and subscribe and comment if you need any help or if you got a video suggestion. But otherwise, see you next time.